Hey, 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 my friends, Metal Chef Mad Max, hello, what's going on? Wake up! Welcome to my show. Like always, thank you very much for uh, to everybody who watching my Crapola. I try my best, I know I'm simple man from overseas and I don't know much according to some people. But, I'm doing the best I can. Dziękuję wszystkim Polakom. That's in my native language. I thank everybody who don't speak English. Thank you everybody. Okay, danke, spasiba, and thank you, and let's go do this thing. Today, I'm gonna cook some pasta dish. Vegetarian pasta dish, not vegan pasta dish, but it's gonna be vegetarian. And a little bit different way than it's usually done uh, with the original recipe. I do it my way, Metal Chef Mad Max way. I'm looking at some ingredients. All right, we got lots of fresh vegetables, you know, seasoned uh, tender zucchini, sweet peppers, asparagus, garlic, scallions, cherry tomatoes, all kinds of goodies rolling around. And my top pasta dish today, it's going the mighty, delicious vegetarian pasta primavera with no cream. Pasta Primavera is not Italian dish at all. It's originated in Nova Scotia. It was some famous guy, man, chef from a uh, restaurant from uh, New York City. Um, his place is called uh, La Cirque. Uh, it's French uh, cir for circus. Uh, cool place down there in Manhattan. Or around down there and how you know and uh, he went to Nova Scotia to cook for a uh, Italian Baron Baron aristocrat millionaire whatever and it was experimenting with different dishes and him and his couple assistants come up with the pasta primavera that was in the mid 70s it was really you know vegetarian dish but it was not healthy at all it was lots of cream and butter and stuff so we're gonna do my way, Metal Chef Mad Max way, because I'm fat guy, I have to save my calories for chocolate. <sighs> Alright, just messing around. So I choose, I was thinking maybe I'm gonna do tagatelle. All my pastas, if I use the dry pasta, are from Italy. If I use fresh pasta, of course I go to a uh, local pasta maker, or make it myself. But I decided today use Cinzioni from Italy. Cinzioni means little rags. And let's go do this thing. We're gonna do in a two different stages. Some vegetables are going to be cooked, some of them not. I'm gonna retain the, as much vitamins and uh, crispiness and freshness. Alright, let's go open up. So, Cinzioni looks like this little rags. I got. Uh, Boiling water up here. You're gonna salt it up, boiling water, a little bit. And let's go do this thing. Since you we will cook a little bit. So let's go drop those babies in the pot. Stir them around so they don't stick. I will measure my time. Let's go look at the clock. Five after. So, uh, let's go give some time and cook our pasta. And then I got my uh, clip. Ah! Ah! And uh, zucchinis, I did and a mandolin and a quarter inch caliber strips. There's zucchini inside, and not gonna waste it, man. That's all good food. We're gonna get those babies cubed up, and it's going to be part of the dish. Not too small, not too big, just right size. So don't be a prick. 
get your vegetables nice and cut them evenly. So they cooked from all the sides nice and beautiful. Okay. So what we're gonna do? I'm using wok because it's one of my favorite cooking vessels. Here the pasta, the rags. The rags up there. I'm gonna give this to the resting place. Boom. Done. I'm going to use a little bit of butter. I'm using sweet cream butter from New Zealand today. I feel like a New Zealander. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter to the wok. So I said so to saute it off our vegetables. Well, let's go focus on the cooking area more. You know we got our Fresh ingredients, uh, vegetables. Boop, boop. I'm, I don't have any camera operator yet. Oh, that's garbage. Oh, can. So vegetables are working. Let's go change the angle a little bit. The walk, it's walking, and I am talking. So anyway, the butter is melting. Rags are cooking. So let's go do it. Oh, by the way, this dish is dedicated to a new friend. She worked with me, Carol Ann. That's for you. And you will taste the dish when I arrive at work today. So anyway, oh, zucchini goes first. And it's going to be brief. It's not too high heat. I don't want to get... Uh, too crazy with it. Two cloves of garlic. It was two zucchinis inside. Two cloves of garlic. Let's go do it. Hey! Smash. Boom! And chop it up. I don't want to overwhelm it with garlic. Just a little bit fragrance. Like those guys in Clasiers can do in uh, now then. All right, let's increase the fire and uh, walk a little bit. So we got the zucchini and garlic sauteing off. I think jumping around, that's fine. Then I got uh, asparagus, but not tips. Tips like an inch and a half. I said we're not gonna cook those. And oh, the heat from hot pasta will cook some our vegetables. All right. When that's going, we're gonna take some. Aromatics, we're gonna add fresh cracked black pepper to our dish. The pepper is not gonna, going to be the only spicy ingredients. I got some chili flakes, a few of those babies, and yeah, a little bit more. Uh, I am Carolina, if you can handle the heat. And I got mystery ingredients in the wok, actually not. I want to get some, you know, some, it's for vegetarian person, dish today. So, I'm not using any meat. You can put some grilled chicken, shrimp, you know, a little bit of maybe even fish, you know, and whatever it wants to go. But, I did some portobello mushrooms yesterday. I marinated with the salt, pepper, and cherry vinegar. And touch of olive oil, and I put it in a steam basket because fusion is my thing, you know. Using different cultured ingredients, different cultured cooking techniques, vessels for cooking, and that's how I roll. So we got this rock and rolling. Try don't burn your pasta. Then 
have on the sweet red peppers. I julienne it. Goes in. Half of it stays. Julienne scallions goes in. And fresh oregano leaves. Just smush them a little bit so they release that uh, delicious aroma. And I was not able to find fresh basil, so I'm using dry basil, always in the palm of your hand. And like this. <sighs> Smells good here, my friends. You have to trust me on that. You don't have any devices to teleporting the smells to you yet. Yet. Basil. Basil is there. And then I got cherry tomatoes. They're not gonna be cold. Usually people use the fresh peas. I'm gonna use Adamant. My twist. And I got pea pods and asparagus tips. I'm just remove the hard to eat string from the back. We're not going to be cold. We're going to just absorb the heat from from the pasta and cooked vegetables. Alright, that looks deliciously delicious. That's cooking. I got my cheese ready. And mushrooms are resting deliciously. Cook, you can grill those babies. It's up to you. I decided to go this way. All right, be careful with the salt again. We're gonna use the Parmigiano Reggiano. So, salty cheese salt. You always can add it. It's hard to take the salt out. It's a few tricks, but it's not always work too good. All right, let's go see how the little rag is doing. Getting there. I want them to be al dente. Not raggedy. Just beautiful. Yeah. We got three more minutes to go. We got the truck and roll it. And then, you know, choice of plate where I decided to serve it in uh, this bowl. We'll see what's happening for gardening. Oh, let's see if I got some oregano leaves. Yep. Fresh oregano. I'm gonna chew one of those sprigs of oregano. Not too long. Not too short. Hot water from the sink. Wake up the colors. Just under the hot water for a second. What you do. And then shark it with the cold water. Alright, what's going on with my vegetables? They're getting nice and tender because the, the lower part of asparagus needs a little bit more attention with the cooking of the rags. Let's go try one of the rags. Oh, rags almost a lot. Couple more minutes. Lower the heat on my veg. Don't overcook it. Don't kill it. So I got some nice rolls. Maybe you can serve it with it. Uh, I'm tired, people. You know, garlic, bread, and stuff. You know. I witnessed many times people even using the square, square. Thicker toast, like a Texas toast, put the fake butter and garlic on it and 
some Parmesan, Parmesan, it's no Parmesan. Understand the United States, you know, people speak English, but try to learn proper pronunciation of the ingredients and dishes. Parmigiano. Parmigiano Reggiano, you know, depending on you know, how you want to pronounce it. Alright, this is rock and roll. Let's go put my things away. And yeah, maybe I will add some more oregano. You know, I keep the oregano in the box as they come from the store. Many times they open up and psh, crap all over the place. Little trick, rubber band. Move in the fridge. Man, I feel sleepy. Let's go do it. I'm gonna get some rip it. Hey, rip it people wanna sponsor me? I don't charge it much. Shot of rip it. Alright. Turn the temper off of the wok. That's it. The cooking is done. First, zucchini. The radio of the vegetables to the pasta. It's pretty big. I want a lots of vegetables. I've been slacking a lot with eating vegetables. So let's go do it. So we got zucchinis. We got uh, adame. We got sweet peppers. We got asparagus tips and. Pods and cherry tomatoes half not cooked. Go in, toss those babies around, toss them around, they absorb some heat from the cooked ingredients. I feel it's not enough basil, man. I have to do it. I put a little bit more again, crush the bayonet a lot, and son of a god, I want some more pepper. And the rags are ready. Another trick. Let's go get the rags drained. And always save a little bit of the pasta water. Because you may have to thin out the sauce. Who knows? Alright, let's go. Bring the reds. Come on, son of a gun. Get stuck up there. And boom. They go in. Pasta water just in case. Haha. <laughs> You know you can put a splash of wine on it. It's up to you. <laughs> Everything looking delicious. Well, excuse me, what for now? One second. Hmm. Where's the cover for my walk? What's happened with the little part? I think it's in the dishwasher. I washed it. Is that what's using all the yep. Yesterday. So just want to cover up the heat that's off. Let the pasta steam up and cook the vegetables. Alright. Let's go see how the mushrooms do it. And let's go fish up one of those delicious shrooms. We're gonna reposition our camera again. I'm not um uh, able to afford the uh, camera operator many times I ask my daughter Michelle she don't wanna do a boom I kick that to the thief that's gone always keep your area nice and neat and like I said no panic I was planning to add some Marcella wine a little bit and sweeten it up I decided not. The peppers and vegetables are very sweet. I taste them, so I don't want to do too sweet. Okay. Hmm. 
my little friend getting it all out of me. Let's go get my sharpening tool out of here. Okay, maybe it will work better. Rinse it off because it can be so bacteria on it. Yep, right to it. Slice this baby like this. A little fan. And let's see how's the pasta doing up here. Oh, it's doing deliciously fabulous. The vegetables nice and bright. And as a final step, what we're gonna do? Extra virgin olive oil, nice splash of that all over the pasta so Toss it, toss it with the extra virgin olive oil. One thing goes here so I don't burn my uh, cutting board. Yeah, that would be not good if I toss the thing. And my friends from Cantaros, freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, goes in. Toss this together. And I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. I have to taste the result. Pasta. First. Put the pasta water in it. More cheese. A little bit fresh, sea salt, it's not salty enough. So, like I said, you always can add it. Fresh ground pepper. A little bit more. And I think I have to add a few chili flakes. Ah, let's go do it. Alright. Clean up. That's, that's okay. Go to the dressing place for wash. Toss them together, and I'm telling you, when I played it, this little munchkin right here, my pasta primavera doesn't look greasy. Doesn't look. Like a dead vegetable, doesn't look like a crapola, I hope not. But that's my version. Alright, thank you for rock and rolling with me. Thank you for watching me. Peace, love, power to the people, and heavy metal forever. Love you guys. Thank you for watching me. Dziękuję wszystkim. That's for what I got for today. Till next time. Keep on rock and rolling and be good to each other. See us, people! Wah! Love!